today on Karamo. Her fiance says he wasn't cheating. What man is gonna be in another room for that time? But where was he on the night of Alicia's birthday? At 12 o'clock, you were not in that room! I'm ready to unlock the phone. Are y'all ready for this? Yes. Don't miss this surprising answer. Plus, grab the gas can, I put it on the floor, and I was gonna light her house on fire. Why is Manny's drinking so out of control? He held a baseball bat to your head and threatened you? Yes. And will he ever be able to confront the truth? It's not your business, it's not your business, and I'm done with this. Hit me up when you want to drink. Hey, friends. So listen, your 20s are about having fun and finding yourself. But how do you know when you've taken the fun too far? Well, my guest Shelby says she is worried about her best friend Manny. Manny is 23 years old, and Shelby says it's time for him to grow up. Shelby believes Manny has a drinking problem, and she is not the only one. Manny's roommate, Brandy, is also concerned with his behavior. Let's find out more about this. Everyone, please help me welcome Shelby to the show. <laughs> Hi, Shelby. Hi. How are you doing? May I have a hug? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, Shelby, please tell me, what do you need my help with today? So my friend Manny, he has a really bad drinking problem, mm -hmm. and he doesn't seem to see it. I feel like I'm the only person who cares. Um, and everyone else around him, he just, I really need your help. Okay, if a drinking problem, listen, that's a strong accusation. Yes. My producer told me something happened at your house last year. What was it? Okay, so Manny called me. He was blacked out drunk. Uh -huh. He um, needed somewhere to go, so I let him in my home, and when he woke up, he accused me of drinking his fifth. Mm. So he proceeded to go out to my garage, grabbed a gas can, came back into my kitchen, and poured it all, all over. Hold on, he grabbed a gas can? Yeah, full of gas, and poured it all over. Did he light the house on fire? No. So what happened next when that went down? So he went back out to my garage, grabbed a baseball bat, and then started beating my car and bust out all my windows. What in the world? So did you call the police? No, I did not call the police. I don't want to ruin his life. Um, I should have called the police. Okay. But I decided I didn't want to. I didn't want to ruin his life. But now I'm thinking back on it as I should have. Maybe he would have learned a lesson. Well, how, yeah. I mean, let's be real. If anybody said put gas in your house, please call the police, girl. Okay, let's, let me just be real with y'all right now. Hey, that's, a, that's just a tip for anybody. Somebody pour gasoline at your house. Hey, 911, sorry, this issue. Um, so how many, has Manny ever apologized for this? He has not apologized for Never it. once. Never once. We actually stopped talking for a few months, and then we started talking again, but he still never, never apologized. And are you two still friends? We are still friends. Um, You're I the just, audience. They said, why? <laughs> I just can't. He's a good friend of mine. He's been a good friend of mine for many years. Um, I just, I can't see him just throw his life away. He doesn't care about having a job. Doesn't care about having a roof over his head. Mm -hmm. He doesn't care about any of that. Okay. And have you ever tried to set boundaries with him? I have. Okay, and what has happened? I try to tell him that if he doesn't stop, I'm not gonna be around. He seems to not really care that much about it. He cares about all his other friends who just love getting drunk and it's sad. Yeah. I don't wanna see a good friendship get thrown away. Over you, alcohol. Yeah. Can you please describe to me, from your opinion, how much or how often does he drink? Like two fifths a day. Two fifths. Maybe a day. more. Maybe more. Wow. What time does he start drinking? As soon as he wakes up. Wow. So what? What are you hoping will change today? I'm really hoping he decides it's time to get sober. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Has he ever tried before in the past, from your recollection? He maybe lasted three days, and it's, it's sad. He, I don't want to get a phone call one day that he's not here because he just wants to keep drinking. Mm, mm, I don't mm, want mm. his next drink to be his last drink. Mm. <laughs> I got it. Um, well, everyone, I want to meet Manny and hear his thoughts on this entire situation. So everyone, please welcome Manny to the show. Hi, Manny. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, I'll give you a hug. Here. <laughs> Good to meet you, Manny. But I want to clear a few things up, though, because 
You said it was a whole gas can, but it was a gas can like this big, and it wasn't full. It was like that much. No, full. it was a full gas can. It was. Don't, it no. was Manny. Half, from, what, from what I remember, it was a gas can like this, and it was halfway full. How Manny. you remember and if you you're said, always blacked out? Uh, from what I remember, even if I was blacked out, it wasn't all the way full. Manny. And come on. You said I drink two fish a day. I drink like three. Before. Manny, <laughs> you are not helping your case at all. <laughs> you know, I came out here wanting to hear your side of the story, but you can't be like. Well, girl, I didn't pour a whole gas tank. It was just this much. You it know really that doesn't help you defend. She said, I don't care about having a roof over my head. I pay my bills. I have a house. OK, well, let's start over. So I see you, 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 you're not debating that you try to set the house. You pour gas everywhere. You're yes, not I debating did. that you do say you drink three-fifths a day. OK, so, so I appreciate your honesty there. I really do. Because that lets me know that you're in a space where you want to like share your truth. But how do you feel about the rest of the things you heard her say? Um, I don't agree with it. And what don't you agree with? I don't think I have a problem at all. You mm -hmm. do have a problem. I don't have you a problem. You do have a problem. I'm just having fun. I'm living my life. That's, okay. You're going to not wake up one day. I bet I had fun the night before. What? Manny says he's just partying. I'm 23 years old. I'm young. This is what people do in their 20s. They drink, they party. But he did this to his friend. Grab the gas can, I put it on the floor, and I was going to light her house on fire. And his roommate says he did this. He held a baseball bat to your head and threatened you? Yes. Is there any way to make Manny realize he has a real problem? This is not normal for 23 year old. On the next Karamo, she never knew who her father was. I'm mad. It's I deserve to yes, have a did. daddy. Yeah, let me just give you a hug. Are these two women sisters? I'm confused now. I cannot wait to prove everybody wrong. A 48-year-old DNA mystery solved. Plus, her man had a serious gambling addiction. You are not winning in life, and they're back. I ended up moving out. When was the last time you gambled? On the next Karama. My producer told me something happened at your house last year. What was it? So my friend Manny, he has a really bad drinking problem. Mm -hmm. He was blacked out drunk. Uh -huh. So he proceeded to go out to my garage, grabbed a gas can, came back into my kitchen and poured it all, all over, grabbed a baseball bat, and then started beating my car and bust out all my windows. I don't think I have a problem at all. Um, I'm just having fun. I'm living my life. You're going to not wake up one day. I bet I had fun the night before. Take me back. What happened at um, Shelby's house that night? OK, well, it all started because I was at my house drinking with my roommates and stuff. And then mm -hmm. it got too much. Uh, altercation started happening. So I went to Shelby's house because she was helping me out. I had a fifth of Hennessy, and I was still drinking it, but I had be drank before. So when we got there, she wasn't drinking with me, and I drank, and I just fell asleep. So I thought I had half a fifth left, but I guess I didn't. Mm -hmm. But when I woke up, and I thought I still had a fifth. So I thought she drank it, and I told her, like, you have to buy me a new fist since you drank my, my bottle when I was sleeping. And she kept telling me no. So I was still drunk. And I went outside, grabbed the gas can, and I poured it on her floor. And I was going to light her house on fire. Like, you drink my fist. And I thought she was lying about it. So it was like the principle. Why would I lie about drinking your fist? I don't know. So I just want to know. So threatening with gasoline and missing alcohol, for you, those two equate? Mm -hmm. OK. Still to this day, those equate for you in your mind? You think that was like I have it not a sense. Response? But huh? yeah, I thought it was proper. You don't care. You sport alcohol over people's floors, puke oh, on their floors. Not. They come clean it. Is this behavior right, consistent that's... at other people's house? Is she telling the truth? Uh, I mean, if I don't like the person, I'll <laughs> their house up mm -hmm. or ruin their house. OK. I mean, I'm 23 years old. I'm young. This is what people do in their 20s. They drink, they party. I graduated no, high school. I pay my bills. They don't do it like how you do it every day, all day. You just That's all you care about is alcohol. I don't not... drink right when I wake up. I wait until like no. 4 o'clock. Like, yeah, I'll you wait, wake I'll up take at my 4 o'clock. That's when you wake up. Come I'll take on. my vitamins and I'll drink. Right, you that's take your still vitamins. as soon as you yep. get up. Why was it specific for you to say you take your vitamins? So I stay healthy. Mm, OK. Do, do you think you have a drinking problem? No. You don't think you have a drinking problem? No. OK, what do you think a drinking problem looks like? Um, when you're old, 30, you have nothing for yourself, just drunk. No, nothing. you've got a drinking problem now. So you equate drinking problem with your age? Yeah. OK, and so because you're young. Like, you if I was like, older and like in my 30s, then maybe I think I had a drinking problem. Like, if so I was waking up and drinking, So you think because you're young, still. you don't have a drinking problem? Yeah, this is what normal 20-year-olds no, do. No, this is not what you normal 20-year-olds do. When you were no. 23, you drank, too. 
What do you do Not for work? Not as much as you. I don't wake up and I mean, take right my now, vitamins I don't work, and then but drink. I mean, I'm still waiting on like 20 W-2s from last year. Mm -hmm. So right now you're not working. When was the last time you worked? Uh, like last month, but okay. it's not hard for me to get a job, and I'll always get and a job. And you don't always keep a job. You just I keep, don't keep the job, but I'll get a job. Because you don't get enough to pay my bills. Because you get drunk the night before. I'll get enough to pay my bills, and I'll go to work drunk. 20 W-2s yeah, says should that care. you can't keep a job. But I could get a job. Okay. That's but not you, the point. You need to keep a job. You need to, to, to stop my bills drinking. Are paid. My it bills doesn't are paid. matter. It doesn't matter. I could buy my bottle. Did you lose your last job because of drinking? Uh, yeah. You did? Yeah. What, is, what happened? Well, I worked at a strip club, so obviously, like, if I want to drink in the dressing room, I'm going to drink in the dressing room. It's a strip club. My boss was never there. I drink with the dancers. Mm -hmm. And then one day they pissed me off, so I called them, and I called them a bunch of hoes, and then... They fired me and I'm banned from that strip club. Okay, so do your parents think you have a problem? Um, they don't really think I have a problem, but they all, always tell me like, uh, don't drink or if you're drinking, stay at home. And then I'll just text them back like, turn up or die, like I don't care, I'm gonna drink. I'm watching a lot of your body language and I'm also writing down some of the things you say. And it's, it's, I wanna get the audience's comment, but before I do, there's one more person that I wanna get, give some insight into this and it is Manny, your roommate, Brandy, who's gonna be joining us virtually. Um, Brandy, is she there? Hey, Brandy, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. So I want to ask you, does Manny um, drink every day? It is to the point where I question when he's not drinking. So I, whether I'm it's saying. morning day drinking or up all hours of the night, it's to the I point mean, where you it's drink with everybody me, in the house. You wake up yeah, and drink and with me. That is the difference between me and Shelby is like, I live with you. So I am getting affected by it, and it's starting to affect my life and my routine. I mean, boss your I'm life doing. up if you can't handle a drinking I mean, keep your pressure. I do. You. I, keep, I, keep, I keep my life together, but I can see where it's starting to affect mine. But the difference between you and I is I can still hold a job, and I can still go to school, and I can still get up regardless of if I stay I mean, I'll still see, get up. See, why can't you be like that? I'm, I don't You're have to be like that. She's older than me. She's older than me. Brandy, you told my producers that you think that Manny's aggressive. Tell me more about that. Um, it usually, I, I mean, I wouldn't party and drink with him if it didn't start off fun. So it always starts off fun, but then it'll lead to it's always usually fun. verbal aggression. Verbal <laughs> it'll lead aggression to, like, doesn't verbal hurt aggression. nobody. I'll, I'll have people over, or my sister will have people over, and he'll start insulting them, I um, being mean for no reason. And then you it'll get be. to, like, if, you try, if you try to argue back with him. Then it'll get to him like threatening with baseball bats, or and I will. like saying he's gonna beat Got people a different up and stuff like that. Day. There's something that he's not telling us. That's why he drinks all the time. Why is Manny's drinking so out of control? You need to see somebody because basically you're angry. And will he ever be able to confront the truth? It's not your business, it's not your business, and I'm done with this. Hit me up when you want to drink. So you equate drinking problem with your age? Yeah, this is what normal 20 year olds no. do. Manny, your roommate, Brandy, who's going to be joining us virtually, does Manny um, drink every day? It is to the point where I question when he's not drinking. So it always starts off fun, but then it'll lead to it's always usually fun. verbal aggression. Then it'll get to him like threatening with baseball bats or and I will. like saying he's gonna be got a different up baseball bat for like every that. day. Let's be clear. Has Manny, your roommate, held a baseball bat to your head and threatened you? Yes. Yes, he has. One yes. time. And how did that and make I you feel when that happened? You, you probably would have hit her if she didn't do it. She drank. Shelby, do you drink with him as well? They not, both drink with me. Oh, they do. Not like what he's trying they to say. They both drink with me, so I, I don't even know what the kid. Here. Well, listen, this is a sticky situation um, where I'm trying to piece together a lot of what's happening here. But I want to take this to the comments and hear what the audience has to say about this. Y'all got an opinion? <laughs> yeah, come on over. So what's your thoughts on this? My thoughts on it is it gotta be something deeper. Um, in, deeper uh, how? It's uh, like something, you need to see somebody because basically you're angry. I'm and not angry. I yes, have fun every very. day. I and have fun every day. And these are some good friends because baby, you couldn't do that to me. Why not? Um, they're, they're real good friends. I'll give y'all kudos because 
couldn't. Well, you see, people are supporting you two. Yeah. Do you think that he is angry, that there's anger issues as well that are, are in There's this? something deeper than what he, he, there's something that he's not telling us. That's why he drinks all the time. There's something Shelby, there. Shelby, what do you think it is? I, I don't know. Okay. I honestly don't. Yeah, he I think I drink because I think it's fun. No, no there's you definitely something else. need to get emotional. Not, there's with no your normal person that about in this and, world that and just sits there and drinks like this all the time. Uh, everyone Nobody. my age. No, they now, don't. Do we have anybody yeah, in here do. that's this age? You're this age? Okay, you're Manny, my age. Come on. You, over. Manny, you need to so, get emotional so, with your friends that actually care about you. So he says that he's around your age, and he says, And I bet he'd be drinking hand dog too. Oh, not at all. Okay, what do you think about when he says everyone that's in their 20s drinks like this? I mean, I understand trying to have fun. I'm not yeah, I do judge, have fun. I'm not going to judge you for that, but you just got to really take your time, man, because at a certain time, your body's going to shut down. And my you don't body's be doing fine. I take my vitamins. Vitamins is not going to be enough for your liver. They're definitely not going to be enough for your liver. Mm -hmm. So you really got to slow it down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Manny's been in the hospital for his liver already. Mm -hmm. You've been in the he hospital for your liver already? He just had kidney stones. I had surgery from alcohol. Okay, and them bitches got removed. When did you have surgery? A couple months ago. Okay. Brandy said something that was, I thought was very interesting. She said that you don't open up emotionally to your friends. Do you open up and talk to them about what you're, what you're feeling? No. Why? Why would I? <laughs> because they're your friends? I mean, there's nothing to really talk about. Okay. When I'm sad or upset, I tell you and I talk to you about it. When we hang out, we drink and talk about how we're going to have fun, and then we go have fun. Why would we drink and get sad? That's weird. Would you be sad if you lost these friends? Um, probably. Probably, or yes or no? Um, I don't know. You don't know. Why don't you know if you'd be sad? It depends. Like, right now, the way they're acting, it's... Do you have a lot of people in your life that you think that left you because of this behavior? Um, probably, but, I mean... Probably. I Probably the answer for you're gonna end up dead. No, he has his, some of his other friends have come to me and expressed that they're worried about him. So okay, I'm and that's none of your business. That's not your okay, business. So that's not your business. They that's not your business. That's not your business. Honestly, it's not your business. It's not your business. It's my business. I drink. I turn up. I'm having fun, would, and I'm done with this. You guys could talk. Hit me up when you want to drink. This is actually sad because. I see a very sweet person that's hurting. Like, I see pain. That's all I'm seeing right now, is someone who's in pain. Yeah. And he won't talk about it. And he doesn't want to talk about it. No. And I don't know what the pain is, but I actually don't see a mean person. I, don't see, I see someone who's in pain and who's reacting to that pain in a negative way. But I will say this to you, Shelby, and to you, Brandy. You both have to recognize that you all are enablers. You're enabling right. him by saying, let's still have fun. Brandy, I mm -hmm. think that like part of, I think maybe there's a little bit of you having a little bit of an issue as well, if I can be very honest with you, and you're not on trial yep, here. Yep. And I think that <laughs> it's you're, okay. you're not, no, seriously, because I don't want to, I'm not going to dig into your life, but I will say that right. part of like you two have connected because part of this behavior is like, we mm -hmm. both want to do this. Yeah. I'm going to go talk to Manny for a little bit backstage because I need him to come back because I do want to talk to him. Okay, thank you, Grandma. Is there any way to make Manny realize he has a real problem? You've been brought here for a reason. Plus, her fiance says he wasn't cheating. What man is gonna be in another room for that time? But where was he on the night of Alicia's birthday? At 12 o'clock, you were not in that room! You are the fire. Get off my stage! What do you think about when he says everyone that's in their 20s drinks like this? I mean, I understand trying to have fun. You just got to really take your time, man, because at a certain time, your body's going to shut down. Manny's been in the hospital for his liver already. You've been in the he hospital for your liver already? He just had kidney stones. I had surgery from alcohol. Okay, and that got removed. It's my business. I drink. I turn up. I'm having fun, would... and yes. I'm done with this. You guys could talk. Yes. Hit me up when you want to drink. So. I know you heard what I just said. Yeah. And what are your thoughts about that? They don't enable me. I do it myself. Mm -hmm. They drink because they want to drink. I drink because I want to drink. Mm -hmm. I, I understand that. You heard me say to Brandy that I think she has a problem as well. Yeah, she does. Yeah. If and I have I, a problem, she has a problem. But yeah. I don't think I have a problem. But you're on the path going that way. Not really. 
I'd give it like two years maybe and I'd be done drinking. Maybe it'll social drinking. You think you could just quit that easily when you've been drinking every single day? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I drank so long, so it's like, if I don't drink, I feel sick. Oh. I'll wake up and I'll be sick if I don't drink. So I basically take a drink so I don't get sick, and then after that, it's like, okay, well, I drank already, let's party. I understand that. So one of the things when we're having withdrawals, I used to do drugs, I used to be an addict, is that when I would want more drugs, I would say, I'm going to stop, but then I would start to feel sick. I would start to feel like, oh, I need one more of this, I need one more of that. And then I would say to myself, okay, let me just do it to feel better, and now I'm on that pattern again. And that is what most addicts feel. That's all I'm trying to let you know. But it can't feel good knowing that to feel better, you have to drink something. I mean, it doesn't feel good, but I mean, after, like, once I'm drunk, I'm having fun Can either I way. Tell you something? Can I, I just want to say thank you. Because I acknowledge when people make small steps and big steps. For you to acknowledge and say it doesn't feel good was something big. I mean, yeah, it was, but still, like, it's a problem, I guess, but I mean, it's a fun problem to me. Because you're young and there's no consequences yet. You want to come back out here and talk to me a little bit? I mean, yeah. Just a little bit. Um, okay, so you did just say that backstage that you recognize there's a problem to it. Did y'all recognize what your friend did? Yeah. Did y'all yeah. recognize it? This is a supportive place. This is a supportive place. We actually want to see you be your best self. What is your biggest fear? Mm, I don't know, not being successful. Not being successful. And where does that fear come from? Because mm. I guess deep down I might have a problem. And like, I want to go to school for business management, but then again, I've already tried and I started drinking, so I stopped going. Why? Was it overwhelming for you? Uh, no, I was just always drunk because like, I just graduated school, so it was like, mm -hmm. time to turn up or die. Yeah. And listen to that language you're saying, time to turn up or die. Mm -hmm. Haven't you been in the hospital twice, you just told us earlier? Yeah. For, and you've had surgery? Yeah. So do you realize that the, what you do to your body now is directly going to affect how your body is at 30, and then 40, and then 50? Mm -hmm. uh, by that time, I won't be drinking. Yeah, but the effects of what you're doing now will stick with you. No. You do realize that. No. Or do you not? No, I thought it just went away. <laughs> no, 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 no. Unfortunately, I'm no doctor, but that's not how it works. Oh, that's not no, how it works. No, and watching you go through those Seriously, kidney issues I'm at a place where I really want to see you get help. I don't, I don't want you living your life like this. This is not normal for 23-year-olds. And that you know that there's a problem to it. You know you don't want to wake up sick anymore. Yeah, that's like the main part. Like, I just don't want to be sick when I wake up, so. The, but to, to not be sick, you have to get help for the drinking. Yeah. Well, thank you for taking that big step. Give me a hug. It's going to be a good first step. So I'm going to make sure you get that. You two continue to try not to enable him by if he says, let's go out to drink, you say, well, we're not going to drink. I mean, we could find sober stuff to do. Whoa, I that's guess. a big change. Good job. <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much for being with me. I truly wish you the best of luck, and I want you to know that I really am here for you. All right, thank Honestly. You. you hear me? Yes. All right, then. All right, friends, stay with us. We'll be right back with more. I just actually talked to him backstage, and I just clicked what's going on. So he's a pandemic baby. 20 years old when the pandemic hit, he lost school, he lost friends, he lost family, he lost all ideas of can I be successful. And it didn't realize the age because for me, I'm older, I was able to bounce back quicker. In his mind, he's like, I don't have a future. I don't have a life. What's the point? And I just realized quickly that this poor guy is suffering. He started drinking during the pandemic. I'm isolated, I'm alone. It just exacerbated every fear that we all had as 20 year olds. And so he's super excited about now getting help because he's realizing that he has a better tomorrow. And so it, it feels good, it feels good. It feels good to know. Another four hours passed by. So now we're at six hours. Her fiance says he wasn't cheating. What man is gonna be in another room for that time? But where was he on the night of Alicia's birthday? At 12 o'clock, you were not in that room! 
I'm ready to unlock the phone. Are y'all ready for this? Yes! Don't miss this surprising answer. No one does nosy better than me. Photos. We found 378 <gasps> photos. He good when he do it, because I don't you know how he fell there. These are years of snooping, okay? I know you nosy too. Head over to Nosy where you can watch full episodes of the Karamo Show and be nosy with me. My guest Alicia is convinced that her fiance, William, cheated on her and it was on her birthday. She wants me to unlock his phone to find out what really happened. Will the answers reveal that she should marry him or cut him loose? Well, we're about to find out. Everyone, please welcome Alicia to the show. Hi. Right. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Can I have a hug? Yes. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Take a seat for me. So Alicia, bring me back. Tell me how you met William. Well, we met during, uh, on Facebook, I had gotten out of a previous relationship that was pretty b bad and I had vowed off of love. Yeah. And when I met William, it, it's been fast, it's been a whirlwind. You know, I fell pretty hard. So y'all got together in July and then by Christmas y'all were engaged? Yes. Okay, so y'all moved fast. Mentally, everything is just clicked. So yeah. It was good and then, you know, I was told, my birthday would be a day that I would never forget. Mm. And you know, I wanted to do something big. We get to the room, you know, we take a shower, a bath and everything. And before we get to the room, you know, he's introducing me to everybody as, you know, this my girl, this my girl. Mm -hmm. So like, okay, we get to the room. When he introduced me, this is my friend, Alicia. Oh, okay. So immediately I'm like. Yeah, why my girlfriend and everybody else and why? With him, I'm just a friend. Okay. Uh huh. Backtrack real yeah, quick. Yeah, no worries. We in the room, you know. I get about an hour and a half of some little bit of something. Wasn't worth nothing. You know, I smoke weed, so he had asked if I needed some more weed. So I went on and said, yeah, I do. So he leaves. 15 minutes later, I call my homegirl on the phone. Talking to her. Two hours done gone by. I didn't realize two hours done gone by until she said something like, he ain't made it back yet. I'm like. So this was supposed to be, so first, it's because I'm, I'm taking a timeline of this. So you're going to the hotel. He's introducing other people as your girlfriend. You meet this one guy that's his friend. He says, oh, this is my friend, Alicia, not my girlfriend. Yes. Then you go in the room. You're trying to get settled. It's your birthday. And now all of a sudden he's like, I'm going to make a quick run for you, which should take, what, 30 minutes? Not even 30 not minutes. Even 30. Not even 30 minutes and now you're if telling it's down me that, the hall. Yeah, and now you're telling me two hours later, he's still not there. Okay. Okay, so, talking to my mom, goes, another four hours pass by. So now we're at six hours, and your man is still not in the room? Not in the room. Okay. So, by this time, I'm flipping out. When he comes back in, he has his hands in his pants, in the front of his pants, talking about my homeboy got girls down there with money and all this other extra stuff. Hold on, hold on, okay? But you ain't been here with me. On your birthday. On my birthday. Okay. You come in and you jump in the shower and then leave again. And what did he say to that? Uh, according to him, he didn't take no other shower. I was tripping this day. Mm. I'm supposed to be what everything that I have said, this whole story, everything I, according to him, I'm tripping. Mm. Have you ever caught William Cheat before? No, but there was one incident. There was a chick I had previously was hanging out with. I mean, it was a pretty decent relationship. And um, I was in my room cleaning and, um, you know, you're in the, sitting in the, my living room with supposed to be my friend. One of y'all should have came up and came help me or something. But y'all sitting in here whispering and talking and stuff. Mm -hmm. When I come, walk into the living room to go to the bathroom, she's pulling down her shirt and he's leaning back. And while I'm in the bathroom, I heard her, part of the conversation I heard is, I know how to be a side chick. So, and immediately at that point, after she left, do not come Who back. Who says that? Who says that, right? I, I, like, 
I, I mean, even if, if even if that's the behavior you want to engage in, I don't, who says that though? I, you know, I know how to be a side chick, girl. Bye. Obviously, okay. some obviously somebody that's used to that life and I likes guess. that lifestyle. So, so my only question for you then is, if all of this happened, why did you accept the proposal after your birthday? Because at the end of the day, he's not a bad man. He's he's mm -hmm. he's not. I mean, he had us, what he has shown me. It like I say, where I come from, fairy tales don't happen. Yeah, that man, it. he said. What he said when we first got together, I, I just want to be able to take care of you for once life, you know, because I've always been the provider. The good outweighs the bad at the end of the day. But the thing is, when you're messing with my mental and telling me that I am tripping over what I'm seeing, I have to tell you, I'm glad I'm not the typical woman, because any other typical woman, <laughs> bye, bye. Well, um, I'm going to unlock this phone for you today and figure out what's going on. So everyone, please welcome William to the show. Hey, boy, nice to meet you. Thank you. Yeah. Woo. Okay, so what happened? So let's, I, I see y'all love EW right now, but what happened at that hotel room on Alicia's birthday? Well, first of all, I do want to say I was the one who submitted the request to come here. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to bring everything out. If I cheated on your birthday, why am I coming all, why am I the one doing the, the mm -hmm. request here, want to prove everything? Well, then what so, happened on, on her birthday that makes her think that you cheated? Her fiance says he wasn't cheating. What man is gonna be in another room for that time? But where was he on the night of Alicia's birthday? At 12 o'clock, you were not in that room! I'm ready to unlock the phone. Y'all ready for this? Yes. Don't miss this surprising answer. You are the cop. Get off my stage. My guest Alicia is convinced that her fiance, William, cheated on her, and it was on her birthday. You know, I was told my birthday would be a day that I would never forget. When we get to the room, he had asked if I needed some more weed, so I went on and said, yeah, I do, so he leaves. Two hours done gone by, another four hours passed by. So now we're at six hours. When he comes back in, he has his hands in his pants, talking about my homeboy got girls down there with money. Well, first of all, I do want to say I was the one who submitted the request to come here. Mm -hmm. Well, then what so, happened on, on her birthday that makes her think that you cheated? We get to the hotel. You know, my friend was down there and said, hey, I'm going to talk to him for a minute. You know, I called her twice, you know, asking, hey. I even came back down to the room because she was laying down, came back. You actually yeah. came back in the room at some point? Yes, because that, I even I Okay, even yeah, you him. did. You came back six hours later to jump in the shower and then leave again. And when you came, you didn't even have... What I wanted, that I, was that you didn't have what you had left okay. six hours prior to. Is that but, true? Oh no, it wasn't that long. Okay. It was only a couple hours. That, it was six I'm hours. Asking, it's my birthday. It wasn't that. I, I mean, why, okay, and okay. then on top of that, okay, so why that. was I introduced as your yes. friend said, instead of your girlfriend? I said, this is Alicia. He knew. He already knew about her. I always talk about. I brag too. Every time I talk about her, I brag. I'm blessed. So I'm you're blessed. saying that you did not introduce Alicia as your friend. No, I didn't. I said, hey, uh -huh. this is Alicia. So, you got to sit but, here and say so that. So weren't you supposed to come back? Because she said earlier yeah. that you left out to bring to go get her something. Yes. And you're supposed to bring it back. And I did. Because I did. I went back down there. I even have it on Six there. Six hours later. No, it was not. Six it hours good. later. So no, were, were you in your friend's hotel room with other women? But he had his girlfriend down there. And for, but yet you girl, walked in the room with your hands girl, in your pants, like, talking about he got these yeah. girls down here with money what? and stuff like that. No, it wasn't. But I asked her. Don't touch me if you're going to lie. Please do not. OK. Babe, what's going on? I asked her, what's going on? Nothing. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. So this is whole Saturday. We, we, I had some friends. Come, we had a couple friends come in the room. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, at 9 o'clock that night. I had where where, where were you the rest of the time? Not with me. I'm listening to this, and I understand how birthday weekends are. Just, how hard did you two party that weekend? Party. You, you know, party. Like, she, you know, everything. So. We partied. It was a birthday. Okay. And so... So there were drugs involved? Yes. Okay, yeah. This is not an indictment. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out oh, the facts. Oh, yeah. So for you, so, you're sitting here and you're like, oh, I'm in my homeboy's room. Yeah, but I'm texting the whole time. You okay? You need anything? 
Came back down there. I'm waiting on his boy. I got friend about to three. I got about three texts, three, four texts during that six-hour time. Mm -hmm. at, towards the end, you. I stopped responding. Okay. Yes, of course so I did. So this one, the text is, I'm on my way back, babe. I'm sitting here talking to you yeah. real quick. Are you okay? He Call. calls. You need anything? Call. You called again. Okay. Um, he's waiting on his dude to pull up the smoke. He said should be here any time. Baby, what's going on? What do you want to do tonight? I'm going to go to look in a minute. What do you want to drink? Nothing. I told you I'm fine. Tequila, not clear. Oh, Lord, what tequila? Okay, so y'all are talking about yeah. drinking and, but he did try to reach out to you. Do you see them times 738? Where were right. you from 12? At 12 o'clock, you were not in that room. So he left out at 2. Yeah. But I'm, it was but I'm between, at the room it was on that between last 12 and 2 12 when and two he, left he left out that room. And so it sounds like he calls right. you, he called again. But I'm in the room. And then there's a the time, see, gap, from, there's see, time yeah. gap to from 345 to 7. Okay. Yeah. But, but right here, this right here, these two calls you see, it's not answered, right? Uh -huh. You already gone for well, two I hours. I see you say at 307, I'm on my way back. But you, you see, but I think the time changed. You see the but two calls at 2.30. But you see that? 3.07, 3.24, you still ain't came in the room. Okay. How often does she accuse you of cheating? And you know, it's just every time we get into a fight, she just brings up the birthday. I've never cheated. I love her. I mean, her. come on now. If I, you didn't cheat, what man wouldn't be, what man is going to be in another room with a man for that time? I don't understand, like, if you're convinced he's cheating, I don't, still don't get why you're I staying. I say I... As of right now, when it, when it comes to physical cheating, I believe that happened on my birthday, yes. But as yeah. far as now, like I said, if you went through his phone, I, I think there might be some entertainment. I think he's entertaining. Well, listen, I think it's time that we all figure out the answers to this, so I'm ready to unlock the phone. Are y'all ready for this? Yes. <laughs> we unlocked your phone, William. And we looked for apps, photos, and text messages. When it came to suspicious apps where you were communicating with anyone else in any suspicious ways. Nope. I need to know what really happened that night. What happened on the night of Alicia's birthday? I found 40 messages. Oh. The surprising answer is next. Were you in your friend's hotel room with other women? But he had his girlfriend down there. And for but yet you girl, walked in the room with your hands in your pants. Like you come on now. If I, you didn't cheat, what man wouldn't be? What man is going to be in another room with a man for that time? So I'm ready to unlock the phone. When it came to suspicious apps where you were communicating with anyone else in any suspicious ways, we found zero apps. <laughs> when it came to photos, we went through your phone to see if there was any photos between you and anyone else in your photo catalog or through text messages. Yeah. When it came to photos, we found zero photos. Yeah. Thank you. So when it came to text messages, there was one suspicious text that was found. But this text was actually between the two of you. William, you admitted to doing something that upset Alicia that night on her birthday. You said, I know I upset you for what I did, and I can't tell you how sorry I am. I need to know what really happened that night, because when I'm looking at language like this, that's an omission to something. My, my sorry for what I did that night was leaving her on her birthday. I should, I should have never done that. That's my thing. Because I went through the text with our, our in, investigator, and for me, that didn't just seem like yeah. it was an apology for leaving. It felt yeah. like something else was in context no. there. So I'm going to give it's you a chance. Did you cheat on her that night? I, I put that on everything, no. Well, because You're both of rock. you have been accusing each other, we unlocked your phone as well, Alicia, yes. right? Yes. Um, we went through apps, photos, and text messages. When it came to apps, we looked for any suspicious messages between you and anyone else, and we found zero apps. <laughs> when it came to photos, we went through your phone to find any suspicious photos of you in any compromised positions or with anyone else, and we found zero photos. When it came to text messages that could be suspicious between you and anyone else, I found 40 messages Woo! between the two of you accusing one another of cheating. 
but there was no found evidence of you all supporting. Now, the reason I bring that up. talking about yep. my phone. Yep, can you stop talking about me on your birthday? That's the one that I want. Can you, can you just now, can we drop it? You came here because you wanted my advice. Yeah. And you also talked to me about like, you two getting married. Yeah, Because you've been together for seven months. Yeah. And I have to tell you, yes, there was no cheating that I found on the phone. Yes, I believe that that weekend, there was bad choices that were made because, and that's why I established, because you were having a good time. Beyond that, I've been listening and looking at language between the two of you. That's why I brought those 40 texts. Yeah. Because I'm big on language and what it shows me of how a relationship is healthy or toxic. I think you two would be better friends than you are as a relationship. And I've been doing this for a while. I'm just going to be very honest with you. I, I can guarantee you, and I'm not wishing you out bad, I can guarantee you that in 12 months this is not going to be working. I can guarantee it. I can guarantee it. Because the way you all communicate with each other is from all the hurt and pain you both experienced before. Yeah. The insecurities, the lack of trust, all of these things. And I understand what you've been through. And I understand that this looks like a fairy tale. But whoever wrote this fairy tale wrote it with some toxic, uh, some po toxic pens, okay? Because there's nothing here that is fully healthy. And so I would tell you that what you two can do together is be friends and support each other, talk about it, and talk about like how we can be there for each other, talk about it, because I think that's what established you all to make you all fall in love. That's what made you have that connection. It was like, she gets me, she supports me. But just because someone gets you and supports you don't mean you need to be in a relationship with them. Y'all are good but, friends, and I believe y'all can't support each other. And I actually believe that y'all can help each other to be healthier for someone else. Yep. But this ain't it. Yep. But I do wish y'all the best of luck. Okay. okay? All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for being with us. Come back next time, friends, so we can keep talking and growing. I love you all.